Helping tonight, the midterms may have been nearly a week ago, but tonight Republicans are suing Harris County over what happened on Election Day. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is live in Spring Branch to explain. Bryce. Andy, on top of that lawsuit just announced this afternoon, Governor Greg Abbott is also calling on state agencies to investigate some of the Election Day voting issues across Harris County. The big issue here surrounding several polling locations that ran out of polling paper for the ballots. And that, according to the Harris County Republican Party, uh, led to several thousand voters not being able to vote, being turned away. So the Harris County Republican Party in this lawsuit claims that the county and the elections administrator broke state law while administering this midterm election by issuing second ballots to voters who had issues scanning their first one, posting early voting results before polls closed on election night, and not supplying enough ballot paper to at least 23 polling locations. They hope a court will find the same. Order that this never happen again. Restore trust. So we want to restore trust in the voters of Harris County in the outcomes that get reported. This is not a Republican or a Democratic issue. In a statement about the governor's call for an investigation, the elections administrator Tatum says his office is fully committed to transparency and is still reviewing the claims made about Election Day for a report to the county's Elections Commission and Commissioner's Court. So Republican Party leaders support the governor's call for an investigation. Meanwhile, the Harris County Democratic Party says this is just another example of political theater. Tonight, the Secretary of State's office tells us that they have uh, turned over some of the allegations allegations of improprieties to the appropriate investigators. We're live in Spring Branch. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News.